This is a story about a man in Colorado and a boy in North Carolina. They don't know each other, but they have made a connection because of the three-year-old's fight to live and his dream of having a big boy bed. Not just any kind, he wants a tractor bed. Say hi, Colorado. Hi, Colorado. <laughs> That's three-year-old Caden and his parents, Julie and Daniel, talking to me via Skype. I have a little doggy named Virgil. And he's a doggy, and he's a little small, like a puppy. <laughs> it doesn't take much to see how Caden can capture your heart. Looking at him, you would know this little guy's been fighting for his life since the day he was born. <laughs> That's Caden walking the finish line at an event for cystic fibrosis, a disease he was born with. Thank you for praying for me, and I feel better. Caden also needs open heart surgery, the third one of his short life, and now another complication for Caden. He has pulmonary hypertension, and so he um, they can't do his open heart surgery right now because of that. So all they can do is wait and pray. They've been doing a lot of that for their boys. We're praying right now that that medication will actually work. If it doesn't, what? it's not a real good scenario. That's what got to Chris from Brighton. He doesn't know Caden. He knows woodworking. It's his hobby. This one's in California. I delivered that one. And Chris built this Batman bed. And aside from his day job at Costco, this is where Chris spends his extra hours, building and then selling the coolest of kid beds. It was a friend of Caden's family who let him in on a secret. Caden saw one online, and now all he wants is a tractor bed. What color? Four blue. Four blue. Four blue. That's the way he learned his colors. He, um, <laughs> he doesn't see green or blue or red. He calls it John Deere green or Ford blue or international red? red. National red. International red, that's right. I'm just thinking about Caden and his health, and I just want him to be okay. Keep in mind, Chris has never met Caden. But he couldn't get Caden out of his mind. So I set up a GoFundMe account, and uh, in five days we raised enough money to to go through go through with this. This is probably the longest process. Is the painting? So week after week, Chris works away in his garage. He's been busy crafting and cutting all for Caden. I got some wheels. He's bought all the materials. I at least wanted to use my talent for for a good cause. He's donating all the labor. I'm usually out here at like seven in the morning. Any extra money goes to the family. And he's planning on driving the bed out there himself to surprise Caden. And Chris is asking for nothing in return except... I pray to God every day that, that this kid survives long enough to, to get this bed. We can't thank Chris enough for his interest. You know, he doesn't even know Caden. Overwhelming, I guess, is the, the main thing I can say. We won't ask anything for us, but I'll, <laughs> I'll go to the end of the earth for, for my son. So, But uh, we appreciate it so very much. All this happening, and little Caden doesn't even know it yet. He's going to get a blue tractor bed, and I'm the one that gets to make that dream come true. So that's pretty cool. Tell me say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. the cutest, isn't he? Now, Unreal. Chris is planning to finish up. He and his wife, they plan to drive out to Colfax, North Carolina, with the bed in the back of a truck filled with balloons, and they are so excited to see Caden's face when he sees that bed. I'm excited. Ford Blue, I just love that. We promise to show you the pictures as soon as we get them. You can read more about Caden at the DenverChannel.com.